Hi friends, this is Neil from the Technical Marketing Team. In the next few minutes, I'd like to show you how you can easily deploy Veritas Net Backup from the Google Marketplace. First, we need to go to the Google Marketplace, and once we're there, we'll search for Veritas Net Backup. Okay, we'll select Veritas Net Backup 9.1, and then we'll click Launch to begin the deployment. Okay, we're going to give the deployment a name and choose the zone Net Backup will be deployed in. Next, we're going to choose the machine family, the series, and the machine type for the primary server. Okay, now we're going to select the boot disk and the boot disk size. Enter the networking information you'd like for your primary net backup server to use. Next, we'll select what network can access the primary server. Net backup requires certain ports to be opened. In my example here, I'm going to allow SSH, HTTPS, port 13724, port 8443 and port 1556 to be available to the following source IPs that I'm entering here. Okay, now at this point we need to select if we're going to install either a primary server or a media server. I'm going to select primary. Okay, next we're going to enter the name for our primary server. And since we're not deploying the media server right now, what we can do is we can skip the media server host field name. Okay, what we need to do now is enter a username that will be used to start and stop processes. This user will not be able to SSH into the environment. Okay, next we're going to enter in a domain name that you'd like to use. Select if the domain has been created or not. Mine has not been created yet, so I'm going to select false. All right, next enter the name for the hosted zone or provide one that's been created. Okay, after that, enter the Net Backup license key. Since we're deploying a primary server, we don't need to enter in a media server token, so let's skip that part. Okay, next we'll enter the Net Backup Usage Insights key. Okay, then we'll enable stack driver logging and monitoring if you like, accept the terms of service, and then once you're happy with the information, we'll click on deploy. Okay, and what's happening here is we're building out the Veritas infrastructure that we just uh, selected to build. There's the firewall rules. Okay, now once we're deployed, let's go deploy our CloudPoint server. Okay, we'll go back to the marketplace and we'll search for Veritas Net Backup and let's select CloudPoint 9.1. Okay, here we go. Now let's click Launch to begin our deployment. Okay, similar to the primary, let's give our CloudPoint deployment a name. And then we're going to select the OS image type. After that, we'll select the machine family, the series, the machine type uh, for our CloudPoint server, very similar to what we did for the primary server. After that, we're going to select the type of boot disk and the size that we want for it. Now we'll enter in how large we'd like our CloudPoint data disk to be. This will depend on your environment. The next field is used if you're upgrading from a previous version of CloudPoint. If you're not upgrading, you can just ignore this field. Okay, but if you are upgrading, enter the name of your existing CloudPoint data directory. It's recommended to back up this directory before you upgrade. All right, choose the zone CloudPoint will be deployed in. Select the networking you'd like CloudPoint to use. Okay, we now need to enter in the source IP range for RabbitMQ and HTTPS traffic. Enter the name of the service account ID that will deploy CloudPoint. If no name is given, the deployment will use the default service account. If you choose to use the default or a custom service account ID, the service account must have editor and secret manager secret accessor roles attached to it. If this is an upgrade, enter in the SSH public key. Enter in a username for CloudPoint. I'm going to use CPAdmin. 
Enter in any other names that CloudPoint server will be known by. The default port for CloudPoint is 443. If you wish to use another, enter it now. If you wish to take regular snapshots of CloudPoint, click on the Configure GCP plugin. Enter in a client email and enter the private key. You're going to have to have those if you want to do that. Okay, for the deployment to work correctly, we need to have the Secret Manager API enabled. Visit the link if you have not enabled the Secret Manager API. Click on I accept the terms of service. Okay, everything looks great. Let's click on deploy to create our CloudPoint server. You can see CloudPoint is being deployed. We can see the firewall rules being created and we can ignore that error there. Now that our CloudPoint server has been deployed, we need to add it to our primary server. So let's take a look at the right hand side here. Make note of your CloudPoint's username and the CloudPoint password. We'll need those when we add CloudPoint to the primary server. So to get your password, what you're going to want to do is click on that link. Okay, now once we're here, what we want to do is click on the three dots and select View Secret Value. That's going to be your password. Okay, so I'm going to copy that for later. Now let's log into our primary server to make sure everything looks good and to add our CloudPoint server. If you choose not to log in with root, you'll need to create a user on the primary server and give it elevated privileges. Please refer to the accompanying blog on detailed steps on how to do that. This is a normal welcome screen that you'll receive the first time you log in. First, click on Cloud and then CloudPoint Servers. You'll notice that nothing is there right now, so we need to click Add. Enter the server name and the port you chose while deploying CloudPoint. OK, click on Validate. OK, everything looks good. Let's click Accept. All right, next we'll enter in that username and password that you wrote down. Okay, click on Add. Okay, everything looks good. The discovery status is running, it's successful. Let's go to Host now and see if the primary and CloudPoint servers are properly registered. Everything looks great. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to deploy Veritas Net Backup from the Google Marketplace. Mm -hmm.